Hugging with muscles. We're doing the facial muscles again. Okay, here we have Orbicularis. Its origins are the mandible and the maxilla, and an insert onto the facial and facial or muscles of the lips. And here we have zygomatic pilus major and minor. Its origin is the zygomatic bone and inserted onto the angle of the mouth and orbicularis oris again. Okay, down here, going across, we have rhizorius. Its origin is the platysma and masseter fascia. Coming to the front, we have mentalis. Its origin is the mandible near the incisor. Mandible near the incisors. And it inserts onto the skin of the chin. Then over here for our frowning muscles, we have depressor labi inferioris. Its or I can just show you. Origin what is the lateral body of the mandible and the inserts onto the skin and muscle of the lower lip. Okay, then above that we have depressor anguli oris, also part of the frowning muscles. Uh, its origin is body of the mandible below the incisors. And it inserts at the skin at the angle of the mouth. Then up here we have the levator labi super superioris group. That's one, two, three. Right here, one, two, three. Its origin is maxilla and zygomatic bone. So maxilla, zygomatic bone. And it inserts onto orbicularis oris and skin of the upper lip. Then next we have the buccinator which is down in here below zygomatic, or zygomaticus major, and in between rhizorius. Its origin is the posterior mandible and maxilla, up here. And it inserts onto orbicularis oris. Okay, then up here we have corrugator supercilii. Its origin is the supercilial arches and inserts of the eyebrow into this area. And next we have orbicularis oculi, which is this whole area around the eye. Its origin is the maxilla and frontal bone. And it inserts onto the dermis around the eyelid. Okay. Now we have the procerus muscle right here at the bridge of the nose. Can't really see it on this model. And then the insertion is the frontalis muscle, which would be up here, up here -ish. Then we have nasalis right here at the tip of the nose. Don't get that confused with the, with the lavator labi <coughs> superioris group. That's here, lavator labi superioris. That's the one, two, three, and then nasalis is right here at the tip. Then the frontalis or occipital to frontalis. The frontal belly starts here at the aponeurosis, the epicranial aponeurosis, and inserts at the skin of the eyebrow and nose. The occipital belly, its origin is right here at the occipital bone. And then that's going to control the epicranial aponeurosis. And then over here, we have the masseter. Its origin is the zygomatic arch and, ins and maxilla and inserts onto the angle of the mandibular ramus. Here we have temporalis. Its origin is the temporal line of the skull and inserts onto the mandibular ramus and the coronoid process. Okay, now we're going to
going to take it down and look interiorly. Here, number 44, right there, we have the digastric. And up here as well, number 44, the more lateral one. And going down, digastric. And its origin is the lower margin of the mandible and the mastoid process. And then when we turn it over, we see at the tip one, here's where the chin would be, and then here's all the tongue muscles, and then right here, the very first one, the tip, we have the mylohyoid. Next we have stylohyoid, it's a different model in the slides, I think it would be right here next to the digastric, more medially, number 45, stylohyoid. And then turning it back over. Genohyoid, which is above the myohyoid. Here's myohyoid, genohyoid. And then turning it back over again, you can find a fairly easy one. We have the sterno, sternocleidoid mastoid. It's this big one right here. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Genohyoid is its origin is the genu of mandible, that's where the screw would be on the skull, and inserts onto the hyoid bone. Sternomasticoid, sternocloid, its origin can be either the sternum or the clavicle. It switches, and insertion is the mastoid process. Just some 